with Florida Gulf Coast University. Admit it, that's what you were saying, among other things, when you were ripping up your bracket after Florida Gulf Coast University, the 15 seed, stunned the 2 seed Georgetown Friday. Heck, even Gulf Coast star Sherwood Brown, who grew up just up the road in Orlando, never heard of the school until they started recruiting him. Who are these Gulf Coasters? Well, they were the guys seen running the same art museum steps Rocky did when the team arrived in Philadelphia. Jeremy Schaap with more on the underdogs who are overjoyed. If instead of pulling off a huge upset, his team had lost Friday night to Georgetown, few would have felt sorry for Florida Gulf Coast coach Andy Enfield. After all, he would have still been rich. He made a fortune in the business world. He'd still be remembered as one of the greatest foul shooters ever in the college game. He shot better than 92% at Johns Hopkins. And, crucially, he would have still been married to Mrs. Amanda Enfield, a former supermodel. So we can agree that the stakes really weren't very high. Not for the FGCU coach, anyway. But his Eagles won, going away. A 15 has gotten a two again as Florida Gulf Coast upsets Georgetown. A team only six years old representing a college that held its first class when Allen Iverson and Georgetown great was entering his second season in the NBA. Coming into this game, we knew that we really had nothing to lose. Georgetown had all the pressure on them. We were just going to come out and play hard. While Georgetown was founded before Washington was the nation's capital, and its graduates include a president and a basketball hall of famer, FGCU opened for business between Michael Jordan's first and second retirements. And its graduates include several up and coming medical examiners. Seriously, it offers concentration in death investigation. FGCU's endowment at $57 million is about half as valuable as Track Manager, the company Andy Enfield co-founded. But none of those facts had any bearing on the game Friday night in Philadelphia. Unburdened by history, undaunted by the task at hand, the Eagles, led by a walk-on named Sherwood Brown, simply outplayed the Hoyas, for whom March has become maddening. They played well. Uh, you know, they outplayed us tonight. I have to give them all the credit uh, for the outcome. The Eagles' remarkable victory will be remembered not simply as an upset, but as an emphatic beatdown, fashioned by a team with poise and athleticism and the flair for the dramatic gesture. Look, I got some crazy dudes on my team. So, when he threw that, I thought the ball was coming to me. I, I was like, where is that going? Where FTCU is going from here, no one can say. But after defeating Miami in the regular season, and now Georgetown, no one would be surprised if the fighting coroners carve up a few more Goliaths before calling it a season.